that bass going. And that's E. And I did the same lick when I went to the A, I just moved my bass. So, you know, I mean, I know like six notes and three chords, okay? That's, that's it. It isn't that whole big spiel you gotta do. You know, I like mahogany guitars too. Somebody asked me the question, Rosewood Mahogany. And you know, it's really a trip to me because I've been trying to explain the difference for years, you know, and everyone has a different theory. I play mahogany, it's just a little bit more of an attack for my blues style. Uh, though I do have Rosewood guitars. And in fact, this is incredible because last October at Christie's auction, Chris Martin, okay, I had a 1939 000 42 that was one owner, and, and, and it's a crazy story, from Green Bay, one owner guitar, in the family the whole time. They wanted to sell it to somebody who would really appreciate it, and this is years ago, and they flew out to interview me to buy a guitar for a whole lot of money. I'm like, this is too weird. So I'm getting interviewed to like shell out a ton of money for this guitar. And if it wasn't right, they were not going to sell it to me. But uh, they were such nice people, and they realized I played it on several CDs. But it became so scary to carry and play that guitar, especially with Clapton. It was like six serial numbers off from Eric Clapton's 1939 42 that he played on Unplugged. And it's in, what's so great is that it sold at Christie's, and I was sitting with Dick Boke, Chris Martin was there, and I was doing the publicity for it with um, uh, G. E. Smith from Saturday Night Live and uh, Dylan's band. So we're in there, and, and if you've ever been to an auction, it's, a, it's crazy. So they're going off real quick, all this money's flying around, and all these phone calls and the internet. And anyway, it gets sold. Now, I make no money on this situation, but I wasn't there for that. I just wanted to go to a good home. And Chris Martin bought it, okay? And I didn't know that at first. That's amazing. And now it's in the museum. So if you go right in there, I, I couldn't believe it. Well, I was so happy that he got it. It's right in the middle of the Golden Era section where the D45 is, the t uh, Tex Ritter's guitar, the 12 fret D28. Right in the middle on the ground, there'll be a triple O 42 with this big book we have that traces its history from day one. And it says my daddy's guitar because it went through three generations before it got to me. And I went in there and went, it finally got its home. And I mean, it's so, to be in the Martin Museum, for me, is just a, an incredible situation. Plus, to be lucky enough to have a signature model, I mean, I'm done, you know. Well, I don't want to say that, I don't want to get run over today. <laughs> I'm happy with the way everything went. But I'm gonna um, do a tune here with another alternating bass. This is going back a little bit further. The first time I played some show tunes, now I'm gonna go back and do a little ragtime, sort of like, Scott Joplin each sort of thing, but a fast, sort of up-tempo, alternating bass, okay, and uh, three chords, it's going to be C, F, and G, and that's it, okay, so I'll show you what you can do with three chords.
Santa Barbara, California. I appreciate it. I'll be here all day. Thank you.